Hey guys, what goes for each stuff? The X-Ray Studios here. Um, today I want to show you how to basically make a bush. We're gonna make a we're gonna make a low poly bush that you can use inside of your game. And I'm gonna show you exactly how we're gonna do this. First things first, uh, you know, you probably most likely if you are here, either you most likely either have a bush texture and you can't figure it out, or you don't have a bush texture and you just happen to see this and you're probably coming from like the blender hair particle video most likely because that seems to be the highest viewed uh, thing on my channel at the moment. But if you do not have the bush texture, uh, go ahead and go on to uh, uh, Bing or Google, get your, uh, get your bush texture, make sure you type in transparent bush texture, pick what you like, make sure it's a J, uh, J, make sure it's a PNG. JPEG and JPG does not support transparencies. So, with that being said, uh, right here I have pulled up is my node setup to make a transparent uh, image inside of Blender. So I'll give you guys a second to kind of overlook this, write it down, screenshot it. Um, if you guys want to, go ahead and and just get the basic set up. Uh, just get the basic setup of it. Um, I will I will tell you right now that uh, one of them is a uh, is a color and one of them is a non-color data. The non-color data is actually the is a bush normal. Which if you don't know how to get a normal map, I actually, I have a video that shows you how to get a normal map and ambient occlusion map. But go you know go to that video first and get your nor and uh, learn how to get your normal map real quick. And then uh, the other. Uh, our other texture here will actually be our uh, PNG to get a transparent texture. So anyway, first things first. Well, it's not really first things. We've already done first things. <laughs> All right, Shift A, uh, Mesh. Go to the plane. Hit R Z 45. Oh, not R Z. R X. My bad. R X 45. Not 90. If you do 90, it it stands it straight up and we don't want it standing straight up um, scale it down scale the, the uh, scale the plane down a little bit because you don't want it super big since I already have my notes set up I'm gonna go ahead and use it tab UV unwrap so we got our bush here and basically I'm gonna grab I'm gonna make sure I have it selected shift D I'm gonna uh, left click out of it R Z 45 or RZ 180 my bad RZ 180 and now we, what we did was we uh, we rotated it all the way around and we're gonna drag it kind of or drag it back we're gonna leave kind of an opening in the middle though next thing we're gonna do is uh, shift D duplicate it again RZ uh, I want to say 90 there we go and basically what you want to do is you actually want to take the the bush texture and try to make sure this the bottom stem is in the middle but you want to make sure like you're kind of touching the other uh, make sure the image of the of the one bush is touching the other two bushes and then what you're going to do is shift D once again RZ 180 and there you go we go in, we go into this. I mean, this is kind of what it looks like. You know, it doesn't look the best. I can actually tell you right now, I have this one not set right. So we'll drag him in. So anyway, this is this is what our bush. You know, this is what we start off looking like. So anyway, back out of that. Grab here, grab here, grab here, and grab this. So we basically grab all those planes that we just created. Uh, Shift D. Drag them up a little bit scale them in a little bit and then R Z 45 now what you want to do is shift D once again drag it up um, actually you know one of the best one of the good things you might want to do with this one is actually go ahead and conjoin like the bottom one when you do it I would actually kind of conjoin them it's just it's a little easier when it's all one mesh instead of a bunch of individual planes uh, it'd be it's gonna be a lot easier for um, probably a lot easier for unity to actually uh, read it but anyway for the third layer shift D drag it up 
scale it down a little bit, R, Z, 45 again. And then what we're going to do is Shift D once again, drag it up, scale it down, R, Z, 45 once again. And now what we want to do here is we want to Shift A, create another plane, R, X, 90, R, Z, 90. We'll drag it in here. Actually, we're going to make it kind of make it kind of small here. And then tab, UV unwrap it, tab out, go to our actual texture here. Make sure this is in the middle. Now, when you when you look at the bush, um, you may have to do a little bit of adjusting. But I mean, once once you get done, I mean, the finished product really it really is not that bad. Um, it does look like my, my bottom here could probably be adjusted a little bit. Like I may have, I may have come out just a little bit too much or scaled it in too much. I mean, so that, that's why it's kind of good to kind of join them because then you won't have to do what I'm doing right now. Um, basically what I'm having to do right now is I'm actually having to move each plane individually. So that way we can get a more desired look. And there you go. I mean, that's pretty much all there is to it. And then uh, basically you can put a the, you know, once you get it in Unity, you can put a box collider around it. And uh, when you run into it, you create a, create a noise when you run into it. Um, the same method can be used for grass. Um, I do want to kind of just look around the bush so you guys can actually see it. Um, if you can, try to put a normal map and a specular map on this. Um, it kind of helps give a little more realism to it. Um, if I were to come over here, and I mean, that's really all there was. So, I mean, uh, so what was that? That was like, uh, there was four bushes, four bushes. That was like one, two, three, four. There's probably, oh, okay. I was, I was looking at the other one too. Shit. One, two, three. So it's probably about three, maybe four layers. Um, geez, so that would let me go ahead and just so we can get an actual uh, an actual reading on how how much we've actually used here I'll just say one I'll grab this move this to layer two so all in all for that one bush 34 tris if I would move this also so 32 tris it took us 32 tris to create this little bush here that is not bad, not bad at all. Actually, you know what? I don't even need to move that. I can actually get the little squiggly line up here. <laughs> uh, the little squiggly line I call it is right next to the number one on my on the keyboard underneath the escape, and it just kind of combines all the scenes together. But um, like I said, this this can be used for uh, numerous methods, like even for grass and stuff like that. Um, oh God, this uh, really close. So, I mean that that's pretty much it, guys. I mean there ain't much to it. Not much to creating a bush. So, um, I hope this I hope that actually helped you guys out. Uh, I'm gonna show you the little grass that I had too. Um, the grass I did kind of like a I did like a try thing with it. So I I used the same method uh, as the bush. But instead of doing four, I did three. And I mean, you can do kind of the same thing too here. Uh, shift, oh shoot. Okay, so I actually don't have them. So if I would shift A and put one in the, put one way the hell over here where I don't need to be. And uh, this is just kind of an experimental thing. Normally I don't really do more than three little pieces together. Um, R, X, 90. Let's scale it down really good. I think my the battery in my mouse is slowly dying because it's starting to kind of give me fits every so often. Yes. Yeah, now I'm not totally for sure. I mean, this this may look retarded, but it's worth a shot. 
Uh, not too bad. Go ahead and grab all this. Let's let's drag it into light here so we can really see see what it looks like. So that, that's that's really not bad. I mean, you have uh, you have the edges and you have that that one sticking up in the middle, so it kind of gives it a more a fuller look, and it's better than 3D modeling all that grass. So that actually really don't look too bad doing the triplane and actually adding a, uh, a secondary plane. So I guess we're turning it into a quad plane, you know, and then uh, the same thing, like that's why I added that the one single plane up on top too, was so that way if the player would ever have a chance to look down. So if we went to like a down view of this, I mean, yeah, you would, you would see that little bit there, but, I don't know, not like the player is really ever going to look. Um, the bad thing about be, about being a 3D model is sometimes you you get so focused on small detail that you forget that the player isn't going to notice. And I, I'll tell you right now, um, if you were going to animate these, like animate it, um, you could probably actually just grab like certain ones and make them move, make them move a little bit, and it would probably, uh, it'd probably work. Um, that I'm not really too, totally for sure on that, but if you would like me to do a video on trying to rig this for a wind system in Unity, uh, leave it in the comments, man. I mean, I I give it a shot. Now I'm not I'm not too bad at doing it, but you know I it's not something I've ever tried to tackle. But you know I hope this video helped you guys out though. She basically showed you how to create a bush. Uh, you can use the same same method 